So I've just installed the Emerge Greebly and the way I've done it is just applying a bit of hot glue into the hole where the LED is and then using tweezers pop the Greebly into the hole. There's a little bit of excess and I'll just trim that off. And I'm going to put this graphic on which is the Emerge graphic which just goes here and we'll do that now. So now we've got to join all the wires up. So the first thing we do is simple, we attach all the red wires together. Uh, there should be four of them. There's one for the front array. There's a second one for the inside board at the front. Then there's the third one which is the main circuit board and the fourth one goes to the hinge which feeds power into the body. Now all these just need putting together and twisting. Solder that together just yet. Then, what we have to do, we will have more than four black because we have installed the reed switch in here, which is just down here. And this reed switch has two wires coming from it. Now, in order to identify these, if you remember, I um, hot glued them in close proximity to each other. So, one of these which I'm going to use is this one here. I'm just going to leave because that goes to the negative of the battery. That should now leave me with one, two, three, four, five black because this black here is the other side of the reed switch. So if we just ignore the reed switch for now, let's join all the four blacks from the circuit boards together. So we have again the black wire from the front array. We then have the black wire from the top graphic, which is this one. So we can join those two together. I then have third black wire from the main circuit board and then we have the fourth black wire which will bring them all back in which is from the hinge which goes to feed the circuit on the door. This wire is from one of the side of the reed switch which is the main on off reed switch So as far as these black wires are concerned, I can now solder them together and cover them in heat shrink, making sure this reed switch one is left exposed and all the red are left exposed. So I'm only dealing with the black, which is the negative. So what I'm going to do here, because you've got five wires here, this heat shrink I'm using only just fits. So I'm going to use that to cover up the joint, the solder joint. And then I've got some slightly wider gauge which I'm going to push over there and over the wires. And then I'm going to shrink that all down as well to give those wires a bit of support. If you don't have heat shrink or a soldering iron, then just twist the wires together and tape them with some electrical tape. So here's the battery. Um, it's got the leads and it's also got a charging jack, which I'll just lie flat inside here. These batteries pre-wired like this. Uh, can be purchased from GM Props 
you can purchase them when you get the boards or you can purchase them separately now this has got a lot of wire on it and I don't need all that much so I'm actually going to halve this because I've already got a lot of wire in there so I've cut that down I'm just going to uh, take some of the protective shielding off and then we're going to join the red to the reds same process just put the wire together and twist it round I'm going to just orientate the battery a bit now the black goes to the black that we left out on the reed switch Again, you're not seeing much because my hands are in the way but I'm basically twisting these wires around right, now I don't know if this battery is charged but if we keep those apart we'll soon find out by opening this up yep. that's good so I'm now going to solder all the reds together, all the red wire. There we are. And while we're here, I'm going to solder the black, the negative together. Then I have a length of the smaller diameter heat shrink which will nicely go over that and it will also continue to go over the wires to give them some support. Just to cover up the red exposed wires. Yeah, so that will go over there. Yeah, we will heat shrink this down I left enough here to fold over and there we are that can just go there keep it tucked away pop the cover on Right, so there we are, it's all tucked away. This is tucked in there. Clear any stray bits of hot glue out. So we can pop the cover back on. We'll put the screws in. Now these are tiny screws. Four of them. Right. Here's the finished uh, Star Trek Voyager end game tricorder. It's had its gloss coat put on it. Sprayed the inside gloss as well.
thanks for watching and I hope you uh, go ahead and get yourself a kit and an electronic upgrade and give the build a go.